Hi, I'm Elton Rendell and welcome to Real News Friday. Another busy week in the residential sales in West Australia, uh, 989 sales. Now land sales are down a little bit and unit sales were down a little bit, but the houses or established homes, overall sales were up 9%, which is really encouraging and probably very much in line with what we've been talking about in recent times. Um, there's 11,004 properties on the market, so we're getting closer to those numbers that I was talking about um, as to where that'll create pressure. To, um, to pricing. Um, in terms of rentals, there's uh, 4, 000, just over 4,000 probably still available in the marketplace, but it's certainly uh, a pretty healthy market um, in terms of stock levels. It's, it's about 14% less available than it was 12 months ago, so that's a good indicator. Um, and obviously, I've spoken to you before about the residential properties for sale. Um, they're down about 20 26%, which indicates a lot of strength coming into the marketplace. Now leading into that part of the conversation, it's, you know, people ask me how the market's going and then we see conflicting stuff on the television. And and the, and the other night, well, I almost, I spat the dummy. If you ask my family, I spat the dummy, uh, threw the toys out of the cot, you can explain the whole, whole scenario. I got sick and tired of hearing and seeing things talking about the Western Australian market. They were saying that, that some areas were down and then they quoted a um, suburb was down 0.2 of a percent. Well, kiss my backside, who cares? It's a very low amount. Some areas are down 1%. But overall, the volume of sales are increasing and therefore will put pressure on the number of properties on the market is less. Seek local knowledge when you speak to, to people about real estate. Um, and, you know, we, we listed a property uh, two days ago that we put on the market. It's in Greenmount. We've had 27 inquiries in the first 14 hours of it being on the internet. Don't tell me the market's not improving when you hear statistics like that. So, as you can imagine, uh, my poor old family had to listen to me rant and rave, but I, obviously I'm passionate about what I do, but I think it's also um, the wrong message. We've, we've got people out there who are thinking about selling it, and they're trying to get a true guide of the market. It, the market is definitely improving. Despite everything else that's being said out there, West Australia is going quite strong, and it's something we should be very proud of. And I think we're in a very independent economy currently, and I think we will be going forward. You only have to look at the streets. The, the streets are busier. Um, some normalities to returning uh, to the West Australia way of life. And, and a byproduct of that is obviously people are looking to relocate. So overall, the, the positive uh, signs that we've seen in recent, recent times have continued, and I think they will continue to the end of the year. So sorry about the little whinge earlier, but uh, when I hear absolute crap being said, I've got to call it out for what it is. All the best. If you want to know more, check out realestateplus.com.au.